Hello, so today we're going to look at what's in this box. Um, I paid for postage. It was from Hayes Cheskis, who, um, well, we've already got a piece of his work here. But you, you obviously know him. Uh, well, I, I hope you do. If not, then just an amazing builder of some crazy stuff. I've been um, a big fan of his ever since I started doing electronics. And um, he got in contact saying he had this. And um, yeah, if I paid for postage, I could send it over for the, to sit next to all the other calculators that you can use at the museum. So uh, this is another type. So uh, currently you can play on the uh, nice VFD display one, the handwritten style VFD display, and also a sum lock, which might change because Micro Museum's got a lot of sum locks. So this might take the place of the sum lock because you know there's no point having too many sum locks. Sum locks are better than mon no, too many locks. <laughs> Oi, what a beauty. So as far as I'm aware, he says he thinks it works. It's in pretty dirty condition, which is great for interactive things because if they're too pristine, you're always a little bit worried, but this thing is gonna be nice to get played around with, hopefully. It's actually, it actually looks like a very, very similar form factor to the far shit, which I covered a few months back. And apparently what I've heard from Gies is uh, that the buttons are um, the same. They're the magnetic type. So you push down, it pushes a magnet onto a reed switch. All right, let's plug this in and see what happens. Turn the extension cable on. Oh, oh, turn it on. <gasps> oh, oh, it works. 55, oh no. 516, 55 times 55 equals, ah, it works, it works. Okay, oh well, the addition works. Okay, well, it blooming it works. It is actually a very similar calculator to the far shit. Um, we'll have a look on the inside anyway, because that's the bit that's the most interesting is, well, what Nixie tubes have we got hidden in here? Ooh, very nice. Wow, well actually the functioning is a little bit more visible on these than the far shit. I'll link the other video below because I'm going to probably quote it a, a number of times. But if you look closely, um, well actually there's read, the read switches are here and then you push the button and um, that brings this magnet up to the read switch which triggers it. So the read switch for this one is there, read switch for that one is there, that one there, this one there, this one there. So it's a lot less enclosed than the far shit one because yeah you can actually push the buttons so when you push the button it lifts up this magnet which in turn actually flicks on this reed switch in there which is it's pretty cool and uh, one reed switch is here and then it goes there and then it goes there and then it goes there really really nice here's all the diodes for the button matrix and it goes through uh, these ribbon cables down below over to the brains behind the beast a bunch of gold colored very attractive early texas instrument ic's they look really snazzy i'm not going to take it apart massively and gut it to pieces because well as far as i'm aware it works it just needs a little bit of a sprucing up on the outside maybe a bit of contact to Maybe a bit of contact cleaner here and there. Regarding the Nixie tubes, you can't see the model number, but here's the uh, board and a few more transistors. Oh, yo, yeah, yeah. You could get a little peek down there about about loads of the driver transistor, loads of transistors driving it. If you get a peek like in there, you could see underneath there's a whole load of transistors canned in the back. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, that came off quite easily. So on the top, there's a couple of the single neon digits. I guess that's for the decimal place. So the decimal place is actually on the top of this one instead of on the bottom. And yeah, they're all mounted in there. So maybe those transformers are those, I'm not sure. And then there's these big blue, really cool mounting pieces of, I think that's plastic, which kind of makes sure it's all in line. There's no model numbers on the actual Nixie tubes. Uh, they're on the back and it will be very hard to take them out because they're all soldered into place and then bolted down so it's a little bit hard to get this assembly out. Like look at all of the little lenses for the slits that go in front of the little bulbs on top, the little plasma I think bulbs.
so as you can see when it's sat right next to the first sheet it looks quite similar obviously it's a little bit different shape the case but it's it's quite it's quite similar i haven't written up the information about this yet that you'll pull from it but this one oh it's all just uh fallen off and stuff but regardless thanks a lot Hej, and um uh, yeah, this will be able to play uh, from the next open day, next to the sum lock, which, um, you know, is, is working. Happy days. Ooh, ooh. And then, yeah, the cannon and the fire shit. Like I said, like I said, the sum lock, because uh, the Micro Museum's got quite a lot of them. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But, like, yeah, so, anyway, have a lovely time.